welcome back guys so we are going to log in here so let me click on login and this is our login page so we want to log into this account right there now before we do this uh, we need to sign up again and hash our password because we want the password to be secure so let us secure our password so let me go back to sign up or oh, document expired oopsie daisy okay so here we go on our sign up page so as you can see now in the password column we have uh the actual password that we sent here so this is not good so let me delete this whole row and we're going to sign up again okay so let me come back here and let's try this again now let's go back to our user class inside the sign up user dot class sign up where are we here okay good so what will happen is once I pass through this point where I check if the passwords match, it means at this point, we don't actually need the password. Actually, I'll do one better. I will do it from, let me just copy this. I will do it from in here because at this point, we are sure that we are actually saving to the database. So I'm going to say database password is equal to so I'm going to hash this one. So to hash, you're just going to say hash like that. Easy peasy. And then you put your inverted commas, the two of them. And then you put in the uh, hashing algorithm that you want to use. And for me, I want to use SHA-1. So you can choose. There are several of these you can use. You can Google them, which one you want to use. Each one of them, just remember that each one of them has a different uh, length of string. So for me, it doesn't matter what password I'm hashing here. The end result will be a, I actually don't know the number of characters, but somewhere like 64 or 56 characters long, something like that. So you can test out a few of them and see how long the characters are so that you make sure that in your database, you give enough space for that hashing algorithm to fit. So for us, we added, uh, 64 characters here so i think that should should be enough for our hashing so sha1 comma and then we put our password whatever password we are hashing and it's the same password here goody so that's all we need to do in order to encrypt our password so this is a one-way hashing algorithm so this means that our password is going to be converted from a visible word into something that looks like gibberish, something even when you look at, you cannot read and you cannot see what it is. Now, this is done because if somebody gets hold of your uh, database, instead of them seeing your password right there, they can simply see the hashed version. However, personally, I, I don't think uh, it's really that much of a big deal, this whole hashing of password thing, because if somebody can see your database, they definitely don't need your password in order to access the website. That's just ridiculous. They can easily access your website even uh, without having to log in. So it's kind of redundant, but uh, everybody seems to like hashing passwords. So why not we're going to to hash them anyway so let me come back here and let's try and load let me do this yeah i'm just going to put exactly the same things uh, password password sign up Wait a minute, the email is already in use, is it? Let's browse, but it is not in use. So what is going on? So it means there's something wrong with our email checker here. So let's see what's happening. Let me come back here, that email is already in use. Okay, goody. So let's ask the question. Select all from users where email is equal to email. And then we are reading and check is there. 
so if this is an array check okay so I think this is where the problem is so let's go and back to our database.php surprisingly surprisingly we have to come back here so uh, this is where the issue is so in here uh, what's happening is this when I fetch the data this still comes back as an array however it's an empty array this is where the problem is so it will pass this is array test right so what I need to do here is copy this is array and put an and there paste it but then I'll change is array to count like so and then I will say is greater than zero so what this function count does is it's going to count how many items are inside this array and return a number. So whatever that number is, it should be greater than zero. So if the number is zero, then it means this is an empty array. So we won't come here. Instead, we will come here. I think this should sort it out. So let's come back here. Hopefully that was the problem. So let's reload, refresh and reload. Bam. So it seems we have actually managed to sign up. So let me go to browse. And as you can see now inside the password, this doesn't look anything like the password we entered because this is a hashed version of the password. If somebody is looking at our database like this, they won't know what our password is. Okay, and now we have a smaller URL address, which is uh, cool. All right, so at this point now we have done our hashing. So now is time to actually log in. So let's create our login class and we'll do that in the next video.